Radox here with another country challenge. This time it's going to be Greece. Um, when I looked at the elevation map, I was quite surprised that there are so few flat areas. Only around here and a little bit here. And um, besides that, it's a lot of mountainous terrain here in the western part. And at least hilly in most other areas. And also it shouldn't be forgotten that uh, there's a few islands that have coverage in Street View as well. Uh, I've never seen them in Street View, but um, maybe we get it this time. Okay, we have a mountain with mind, wind, windmills, I mean, on them. So I'm not sure it's that close to the coast. Then, or is it just placed because it's in the mountain? Oh, I'm not sure where where the right road is to go. I would like to go downhill. And uh, th this one feels quite green, so uh, it could be the northern part, which I assume is a little bit greener. But I'm, yeah. I, I'm actually not very aware of the different landscapes of Greece, so that's also why I play it. And um, yeah, somehow this coverage in this town is very weird. We drive those back ways, it seems. I'm not sure where this leads to. Oh, another road here. Seems like there's no way of going downhill in this area. I'm going uphill again. And there, we can't see any sea, so... Also no signage. I thought uh, Greece usually has quite decent signage if you can read them. It's not always really easy to read if it's only in Greek uh, letters. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely, I think it's going to be in the mountains somewhere. Kind of an endless road here. <laughs> it's never going to stop. Oh, there's water in the south. Oh, I saw it too late, but mm, I'm, I'm not sure what I would have done with it. So we're actually quite close to Athens the mountains near Livaria. I'm not sure how to get out of here. I would have had to go north. That's maybe the, the way that I went first, but yeah, pretty tough. I think Greece is overall a pretty tough country. Mm, this kind of looks the same, doesn't it? Mm, oh boy, can I read something? Yeah, I have trouble reading that. The Cyrillic helps, but there's some other letters that I don't know. We in, we're in Podia. Um, yeah. 
this is going to be another one that it's very very difficult driving again through a town and then we get out of town again yeah it's, uh, it seems like that's that's how it goes in Greece oh no the road ends what so um, I think I went the other way Oh, is that water? Probably not. Always look out for water in Greece, especially if you're so high in elevation. That's hmm. So there's definitely no coast in the in the west and it's flatter in the west that's interesting i think west there it's very flat the south yeah great to know that we were in podia but no idea where podia is <laughs> oh what why is it not going those Google Street View drivers did some funny stuff in Greece, it seems. Okay, that's the end I, for me. Let's just put it somewhere in the mountains again. I have no idea. It's definitely not here because then there will be more mountains in the west. Oh really? It actually is along this stretch. Podia or Rhodia. Oh, did it say Rhodia? I think it was partly blurred so I just assumed so this is quite close to Albania rather in the northern part oh, this one looks different this feels more dry but it is still quite uh, very green I'm going uphill again Seems like the country decides for yourself wh where are you going. Oh, that's actually Cave of Castania. And this is not readable. Okay. Cave of Castania. Yeah, this is. <laughs> Those towns are crazy, just built into the mountains. Can we see the coast here? That is water, a lot of water in the east. So let me. I put it here because. And it, I don't see land, so it's got to be somewhere where there's. So maybe going uphill in Greece is actually not that bad because you can see the sea in a few spots. There's usually just one road that goes through the towns, it seems. We have east, water east, and also water south, probably. Maybe we are here. OK, 
can I get to the top? Is was that the top? Looks like. Yo, whoa, look at that. Water in the west now. What? Why 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 are you doing this to me? Mm, there's a bay in the west. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe we're still there. I mean it's just the bay. What is this town here? Yeah, it was in the southern part, as I kind of is expected. That was probably Neopoli Voyon. Cato Castania. Castania Cave. So water in the east, but also the bay in the west. Yeah, it makes sense now. Ooh, that's very grassy compared to the other trees that we had so far. That is very grassy. Not sure what that means. Oh, there is that. I think that's coast. Where to go? This time we have some choices. It's so grassy here. Maybe maybe it's some kind of part here near Turkey because yeah, I don't know. It seems to be a different area and we had kind of centralish one closer to the mountains and um, one in the south. The coast is again in the east, but there's land around us. Not sure if it's possible that this is an island. Oh, there's some signage here. Almost missed it. No, I can't read it, really. That's terrible. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna try and stay on the coast in the hope that um, more people live on the coast. Hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> I kind of expe expected that to happen at some point. Kamari Beach and Monolithos Beach. Well, great, I have no idea. In the south and in the west, there's water. Well, that's quite interesting. So maybe we are we're on the west coast, maybe because it looks different. In southwest, it's also possible in some areas here, but not too many. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was an island. That's why it was so grassy, probably. Oh, Santorini. It was. Interesting. Another coastal. East we see water and north we also see water. Pyrgos. The problem with a lot of those signs is that um, they often remark smaller towns. 
which is not really helpful in GeoGuessr. How does the landscape look? Yeah, it's it also has not many trees here, but it, it's more mountainous again, but drier. Episcopi, I'm not sure if that's a town name. Oh, oh, it probably means a, a what is what is it called? Um, I'm not sure. I forgot what it is in English. It's a tricky word to say. Hmm. Yeah, I think Greece is one of the hardest countries in GeoGuessr. It's so hard to find the exact spot. I mean, it's it's rather easy to recognize the country. I mean, just because of the language, that's a really, really good clue. Yeah, I'm kind of lost somewhere. This is not going well. Well, maybe I can get out of it. There seems some interesting. Some not sure if they put the the area somewhere on the companies. Information center. Tira. What is Tira? Oh, I think I need to I need to guess. I just stay I don't know, here somewhere again. It feels like very typical Greece here. I hope it's not an island again. Because it, it is possible. Huh. No. Are you kidding me? It is Santorini again. What? And there's Tira. But Tira is not a town name. That, that is insane. How did I get this two times? Wow, but it looked different and it was just not far away. Yeah, but uh, it looks like it was a good seat. Quite, we got north, central, south and two islands. Yeah, I think we can't complain about that. So, yeah, but yeah, Greece, I got 4,771 points. Whew, this might have been the roughest country challenge so far. So I hope the next one goes better and um, I hope to see you there. See you. Bye bye.